Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this chainmail soda tab vest. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get some soda tabs. Now you're gonna need at least like five to 8,000 for this project with uh, having some left over for sleeves. But um, yeah, five to 8,000 just you know, to make sure you don't run out, of course. And um, you can find these on Amazon or even eBay, but yeah, for like 10 bucks, you can get over a thousand to 2000 uh, soda tabs. And of course, I like to save a bunch of them, uh, whether they're black and gold or even silver, which is what my vest here is made out of. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and save your soda tabs, which is a very slow method, but to speed it up, you can just order yourself like a thousand tabs on Amazon. And then just make sure you wash them in a bucket of soap and water because you don't know where they've been, right? A vest will be made out of roughly 4,000 and sleeves will probably be an additional 3,000. So what you're going to want to do for prepping your tabs for assembly is what I like to do is I like to get a pair of pliers and then I grasp the tab right here right in front of the first hole right here and then you can just use a pair of pliers to bend it but the easiest way to get both sides symmetrically bent is I just use my thumb and I bend it at a 90 degree angles, nothing more and nothing less because this is the perfect angle for assembling these at. Next, while it's at this bent position inside the pliers, I just like to snip it right in the middle. So both sides have equal strength. So right in the middle. And now there should be a big gap in between the tabs right here. And then now you should basically do these to every single one of your tabs so then you can assemble them really fast. So I found out that the best way to bend the most possible at the same time is you line them up on a table and make sure your edge is probably pretty straight because I'm using a mat right here. And then I put a piece of scrap wood over top of those only halfway and of course the remaining half of the soda tab is uh, hanging over the table just like so. So then uh, the best way to do this is to just simply bend them 90 degrees just like so one by one. Uh, it does make this whole process go way faster, trust me. I find out that I get a lot more bent and clipped soda tabs in this bucket right here um, than if I were just to bend them uh, individually with the pliers and then snip them with my wire cutters over there. And then after you bend all of them down, just snip them right in the middle, just like so, while they're still clamped down. And then I just do this to all of them. Then carefully unclamp the piece of wood and then lift it backwards towards the table so they don't all fall off. And then there you go. You have at least 20 of them right there, clipped and bent way faster, or at least the fastest way possible that I know of. So once you have a decent amount, uh, bent and clipped you're going to need may way more than this i'm just using this as a demonstration uh, i'm going to get a handful out and then i'm going to explain how you assemble them so you get one just like this and then you put it down flat just like that and then you get another link and you're going to assemble them by pushing down and then sliding over and look at that later after it's a bunch of them assembled i like to like go back and then uh, just like straighten them up just so they don't slip off. And then that is assembled just like that. And then you're gonna keep linking them together just like so. Two of them are on one front. And then this is what I like to call the diamond where you have four of them linked together. So there's a reason there's two slots on the soda tab because they link together in a very special way. It looks like that. Now you're gonna put one there, 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 and there, and it'll just continue to multiply.
and then you can just continue to keep linking them together at the bottom and at the corner and eventually you'll have a very large sheet just like so now trust me it will get confusing at some point you are going to see some random things connected to each other and you're going to be extremely confused like i was all you have to do is just take apart that weird um cluster of soda tabs and then just start over start reorganizing yourself but eventually you have these very large sheets which one of them right here and then uh, this is actually my vest and i flip it around there is another side now these are two individual sides and they're not just like one big piece because there's actually a seam because they both go down the same way on each side and there's actually a seam where the shoulders are. The, this is where the neck part is. This is where your head goes through. Here's one strap of the shoulder and here's the other. And then there's this uh, this seam right here made out of flat soda tabs just so I can connect these soda tabs going down that way and going down that way. And that is so I can connect them on the side beneath the armpit right here. I wanted to connect them all the same way. So that's what I did there. So here's me wearing it, and of course, it was a very big pain to put it on, but as long as you link them together very well and you go back and close up all the tabs that are slightly open, then it'll still be able to slide on and off your body without uh, breaking any tabs. If it does, uh, you can just re-link them back together, no big deal. And as you can see, it fits pretty well, and the next video will have to be sleeves. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like these builds that I do, like and subscribe for more videos.